I was big into comics when I was a kid. Um, my brother was big into comics, um, especially the Superman, superhero sort of variety of comics. And I started thinking about medical narrative with a layer of Spider-Man over top of it. And the two notions just sort of conflated really quite naturally. So that's how I started getting into this particular research. In the 1940s comes the golden era of comic books. Simultaneously happening is World War II, and out of World War II is the threat of the atomic bomb, as seen through Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It was the new age of technology that was essentially killing us and destroying our world. But on the flip side of technology and science was the development of antibiotics in the medical field, the side that could save us. So we come to questioning whether science is good or evil. During this time, it's as if a hero came to save the world. Captain America was born, a man created by medical science who embodied the society of medicalization and war. Comic books come back in the 1960s, the Silver Era, and at this time, no one really understands science, which leads us to the creation of Spider-Man. Peter Parker is bitten by a radioactive spider and suddenly becomes a superhero. In Silver Age comics, a lot of superpowers come about from radiation. What's fascinating with Spider-Man is that we didn't really understand radioactivity. We didn't know what the long-term effects of radiation could really be. Big difference is that in the Bronze Age, the comic book superheroes are more like everyday people. In the X-Men comics, we can see science starting to advance into genetics and DNA. It's never really clarified whether the genetic mutations that are responsible for their powers are a natural evolutionary move in humanity, or whether they are caused by pollution and other things going on in our environment. In both examples, humanity doesn't have control of what's going on. These powers were a result of scientific accidents. This is seen through Cyclops and his lack of control over his powers. We can look at pop culture as being indicative of the mood of a contemporary society. What we are doing through science and technology is not only being reflected in comic books, but now on the big screen as well. We are seeing a shift in the way we are representing these superheroes. What's next, you ask? The possibilities for more superheroes because of the advancements in technology. Pop culture is a way of putting out there in a very popular way, this is what's going on behind the scenes. This is what's happening in medicine, in science, technology, whatever. And here are some of the positive and potentially negative effects of that. Pop culture is what goes on behind the scenes of society and helps the average person understand the complex things going on in the world. Comics allow the two opposite worlds of medicine and pop culture to collide.